Hey everybody, this is Dracula. Coming at you live from the Magic City. Yee-ha! This is... Stormworks with Drac Solo. I am actually thinking of doing some Fallout 76 later, but I've been... I've had this idea in my head up... Uh, right up here on my noodle. All day. And uh, Rowdy Bush had mentioned, "Can you make a ship that won't capsize?" I'm uh, and I'm like, "Yes, yes, I can." And the idea I have is a is a ship submarine hybrid kind of thing. I d I don't know what else to call it. I'm gonna call it the Moncal, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm still in... where's my face? Am I in the... oh, I'm not in the... Uh, here we are. <laughs> where's my face? I wanna see my face! So I can eat it! So this is, this is the Aquarius, you guys remember the Aquarius. And yes, I know what all of these buttons do. I put every single one of them there. And I realized at one point that because my dials are up ahead of there I could have put dials there instead of on the, the, the beam I could have put them just all across there but uh, for now I'm gonna hop out and go uh, to the bench it will be fun to get out of my boat like a normal person like a normal person might instead of warping teleporting back to the uh of course it would also be nice if i had a gangway new mission mission expired i wonder why that that happens all right so there's the aquarius i painted it at the end of last episode i don't know if you, any of you guys were watching that Mary Brown, welcome. I've got ideas in my head that need to come out and into a mediums of some form. So I'm going to the workbench. I don't know if you caught the very beginning, but... Uh, um, let's see, new vehicle. Are you sure you want to clear this? Yes, I want to start a new vehicle. Now... I realize at some point, I think the reason why it's dropping the boat into the water every time is because um, this is supposed to be like the middle, and I'm starting here and going up, so instead of, I should be starting here and going down and up, I guess, or I don't know. So that's what I'm going to do. This is going to be the very middle, and uh, I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a boot. And pipe T piece, straight pipe, uh, and the uh, the boat is going to have a pipe because it's going to need it. Now I'm gonna rotate this there. What the hell did I just do? I guess you hit enter, you exit the the workbench. Okay, now let's go back in. All right, I'm back in. And I'm having to start all over again. I can't believe I'm having to start over again. All right. I had a block. We'll, we'll make it first four blocks high and four blocks down and we'll see how that works. Three. Four. All right. Gonna start with an engine. Engine. And here's the one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the other type of rudder though. I'm not gonna use this rudder. The rudder I'm gonna use is, where is it? this one. 
All right. And fluid, fluid exchanger. Fluid exchanger, here it is. I need a fluid exchanger and um, an exhaust port exhaust exhaust I'll put that here no dang it all right all right let's see how we can place this engine That is going to be the air intake, and uh, let me rotate this so I can look at it. All right. So I think it needs to go two blocks that way. So in order to get the air intake to line up, I got to put two blocks, two blocks. And now let's try this. Let me rotate it again. Uh, that way. And there, it lined up. So the air intake has lined up with, uh, perfectly with my pipe that goes all the way to there okay now um, I believe these two were the um, let me get the fluid exchanger this is the coolant in this is the coolant out this is always going to be underwater Um, let's see fuel and exhaust now I don't know if the exhaust needs to be above above water or not I don't need if I don't know I think the exhaust because boat exhausts, is, they, they go in the water sometimes. They go like, blah, 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 blah. you hear them sometimes doing that. Soul Senpai, welcome to the stream. The other one is fuel. And so I'm going to need a fuel tank. Tank. And we'll use the really, really big fuel tank. All right. And we'll put the really, really big fuel tank right here. And we will turn this thing around right now. There's no tomorrow right now. It's everything. Um, there we go. Now we got piping. The piping is going to go this no, this way, and this one's gonna go here, this one's gonna go rotate here, this one's gonna go do 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 do, oh come on dude, this way, and there, now we've got the fuel hooked up. And Pro propeller. Um, I 
the propeller is not going to go there. Pipe, straight pipe and T piece. T piece. Oh, T piece works because I need to have a, a generator. It's going to go like that. And now these straight pipes are going to go up, 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 up. My propeller is going to be here. I need an elbow. Pipe. What's this one? Pipe angle corner. Pipe angle enclosed. We'll put here in place of the fluid exchanger. We'll put this piece here. We're gonna rotate it. One more time, there. And then the propeller can go here. Dang it, propeller, there. And uh, now, One, two, three, another here. All right. Starting to look like a, uh, starting to look like something. Starting to look like the Mon Cal. <laughs> All right, let me get some blocks, some more blocks. Um, I'm gonna start putting the pontoons. Yep, the Mon Cal is gonna have pontoons. Alright, so four blocks out and then start making the pontoons. Four blocks forward. Four blocks back. You know what I should be doing? Mirror time! One, two, three, four. Whatever I do on this side is going to be over there. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four, sham, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, let's uh, do all of this. This is going to be a completely enclosed pontoon. And over there. Now I've got two completely enclosed pontoons. So now let me start making them a little more aerodynamic because I have discovered that that helps. We 
Okay. Some blocks here. I have one there. And then on the back, we do the same. <clears throat> now I need to go get that block back that I lost. Block. Where is it? This, this is the one. And this is gonna go, oh no, that's not. That's not the one. All right, let me see here. This is not the one. Oh, but maybe this one. All right. No, that's not the block that I needed. This is a inverse pyramid. Why am I, why do I keep going up? That's not the one I need. I need, it looks like the one I need. Wedge. I believe this one uh, is a specific kind of wedge called the Antilles wedge. Uh, one I need to fill in those spaces and that is gonna be this pyramid I think I'll put it in place of the uh, uh, there this now. Put that back. Maybe there's a better way to do this. I, in fact, I'm sure there is. And it's probably this piece right here. Like if I erase this one. No, erase this one. I put that one here. And put this one here. That did it. All right. And then this one here, here, and here, but actually, um, this one here, look at that, oh, gotta get over here where I can see better, do 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 do
Okay, and erase, erase, erase. Place, place, place. Place, 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 place. Look at that. That's looking much better. It's much better looking thing. Now I can do it down here. That guy. Erase, erase. Place? Did I place it properly? I did not. Place. 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 Nope. Got that one wrong. There we go. And now this one. Place, place, place. No! very good and that side looks the same now we're gonna do back here um, erase 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 I guess like I looks like I put one too many there all right Erase, 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 erase. Uh, this one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Rotate it. No, not that way. Oh, per perfect. Perfect. Yes. 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 Here, here, here. Now let's finish it off. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four, and the last side. One, two, three, four. Perfect. There's my pontoons. <clears throat> so I've got the engine, I got the rudders. Oh, oh in. In the pontoons, I'm going to need um, uh, 
uh, let me see here. Fluid. Where is the... Oh, actually, it's not going to go there. On the front, that would be bad. Because it, that might not always be underwater. So... Wait, what happened here? This fluid exchanger, I'll put it there. And this, I gotta put... Uh, blocks back let's take a look inside here this is what we're gonna do back here we're gonna erase one there we go and this is gonna go there we gotta rotate it there so there's a pipe facing up pipe gonna have to put a bendy pipe in an angle uh, face it this way then we're going to need a pump there it is, fluid pump. We'll put it here. Fluid pump will go here. And then we're gonna have to put uh, a second one actually. And another fluid pump. Mm, fluid pump. But this is going to be facing the other direction. That way. The one set up to pump water in, the other one set up to pump the water out. And they need fluid exchangers on the ends. There we go. So those are set up. And I can actually, I think, create some more volume in here by getting rid of some blocks. Alright, I think I think that's all I can get rid of there. And I think there, I created more interior volume. And I'm thinking I also want to uh, put some kind of sight gauge on there so I can see what's happening. Oh, let me check over here. Yep, it worked over here. It put the same exact thing. Now the center of mass is um, a little higher. Which may be a problem because I want the center of mass to be very low. Hmm. So, I'm thinking I may change something. I think I may do this. I may, um, 
yeah, this is what I'm going to do to try to get the center of mass a little bit lower. Um, get rid of that. And it will also, what the heck? No. It will also give me more uh, fluid space inside the pontoon. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Put these guys... Why is this not going? This way. <laughs> Track, what are you doing? It's it's going down. <laughs> and one here. And fluid exchangers. There we go. How much did that lower? And eh, probably not a lot. Probably not a lot. I'll have to put some more heavy stuff down, down here. Oh, there actually is something I forgot to put. A uh, generator. We'll just put the big generator right there oh. I don't know if this will even work <laughs> it's not gonna work let me put a pipe I'll put a, I'll put a pipe going back um, turn around that way. Let's see, can I put the big electric Oh my god. Notice me! Oh, who is that, Mary? <laughs> oh, Seth King is here. Oh, Rowdy Bush is here. Hey, Drac. Who else is here? Have I seen you somewhere? Rowdy Bush. <clears throat> Alright, let's try this. Is that... I don't know if that's hooked up or not. Let me... Yes, it is. I've got the big generator hooked up. And now, yes, that lowered my center of mass. That brought it way down. But I don't know if it's gonna float now. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see if it floats. Let me, you know what, let me get rid of that. <laughs> let me, I'm gonna get this, the, we'll see what this one looks like. I'm gonna put the medium size generator. I lowered the center of mass a little bit, but I don't need that. I don't need that big ass generator. Um, let me get rid of it and put the, Put the regular size generator here. There. That didn't lower the... You know, when the tank is full, maybe it'll be... When the gas tank is full, maybe it'll be lower. Uh, Alright, it's time to... It's time to build the... Um, the cockpit. This actually... Um, This pipe actually is going to have to, let's see, T-piece, pipe angle, <clears throat> I don't want the pipe coming right up through my cockpit, <laughs> he said cockpit. All 
All right. Uh, pipe. Pipe angle corner. Pipe angle. I'm gonna put that here in place of the generator. What the heck? Did I already have that? Pipe angle, pipe T piece, pipe. Alright, so I don't have the straight pipe, I guess. There we go. Alright, get rid of that. looks like that's what I wanted to do right it's gonna need to come out a few oh no I'm putting them on the other side you know what let me do this instead of instead of going way out to the side I'll take the pipe. I want there to be room for the rudder also. So it comes out one and then goes and then erase. Then it's going to go back. Dang it. Uh, there. One, two, three. I want it to clear the cockpit and then go up. It's going to be a snorkel. Up four. And then here. There. There's my air intake. Alright, now let's start building the cockpit. Like I said I was gonna do. One, two, three. Uh, three out that way. Three. I'm not sure how much space I really need. One, two, three, four. Oh, let me turn back on the mirror. One, two, three. Oh, wait. Four. One, two, three, four, high, and then once more for good measure. That's really only four high. I don't know how many blocks the driver's seat needs, so I'm going to get a driver's seat. Here it is. Like the heat, here you go. Okay, that cuts into the, uh, that cuts into the ceiling. So, for clearance it looks like it's gonna need to be at least five high six would be better I think because of my head's gonna need some clearance also one two buckle my shoe what the hell happened what is happening oh my god oh my god Oh my god. Alright. 
Let's start erasing from here to the back. There we go. Let's start working on aerodynamics. Calling it aerodynamics. Hydrodynamics. This is hydrodynamics, not aerodynamics. <laughs> Now let me put these. Now like this. Rotate, rotate, rotate. This door needs, uh, oh, I forget. Rotate and rotate, no. Rotate and rotate and rotate until we get it right. This door needs some space. Turn off the mirror image. All right, and we'll place the door. Um. I need the door to open out. There. Now the door. Oh, wait, I can put uh, another row here and move it back a little. There we go. Now it's further towards the back. Now this is gonna come, no. Oops, the seat's gonna be right. front there okay Let's 
gonna have to go forward one more. And one more. And then up. Okay. Why is it not doing the mirror? I turned off the mirror. So I have to do this. Again, over here. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> now I need to, I need to make them going down. All right, this needs to go here. Nope, that's the wrong block. Here and no, that didn't need to go there. Erase, let's start erasing stuff that's not supposed to be here. That doesn't need to be here, that doesn't need to be here, that doesn't. And all the way back to there that doesn't need to be here none of you guys need to be here none of this needs to be here that doesn't need to be here stinky you're cut all right let's get some glass window nope windows let's see I'm just going to grab different size windows. We got 3x3, three three. we got 2x3, two we got 2x2, two two. we got 1x3, 1x2, 1x1, and we got to fill all this stuff in with glass. see how we can make it work well, first right here we got a big space that's one two three four five by three so I can put a three by three two by three or rotate it Two by three, and then a 
one by three in the middle. Perfect. And then a couple of, uh, do I have a two by two? Two by three, one by three, one by two. I don't have a two by two, huh? Is there a two by two window? Let's see. There is a two by two. Did I not get that? Oh, I have a two by two right there. Why did I not see that two by two? There we go. All right, that side's done. Oh, look, something else to erase. Erase. We got three. Oh, you know what? One, two, three. We go back one more. And put three by threes. Three by three. Three by three. Five by five. Look at that. Beautiful. We can do the same thing up here. Erase, erase, erase. Erase, 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 erase. Oh, no. Can't do the same thing here. We can do two by three. There we go. And now the front. Yeah, the front. One by three. One by three. Two by three. There we go. It's all glassed in. Should I put glass back here too? In the back? Should I make the whole side glass? Yeah, I can do that. I can make this whole side glass. Let me, um, let me put these guys. one Three by three needs to turn around. And then on top. Turn this thing around. Two, one by two, two by three. All 
inside it's all glassed in now except for the door Drakey pants what's going on Drakey pants some stuff is I understand that Mary was I was sick there for a couple weeks ago I got rid of it <clears throat> Mount, oh yeah I should save this <laughs> mon cow Let's see where my center of balance is. It's too high. My center of balance is way too high. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put the big generator down here maybe. The center of balance is supposed to be way down here, not up there. Maybe I, maybe I build a, build a thing around this. I don't want this to float though. Let me, um, generator like I was gonna did that bring it down that brought it down a little let's see if this thing even floats save the mon cow confirm let's spawn it see what happens wants to pitch forward Okay. Okay. Let's go get in there and check it out. See if I can get inside and sit in the seat. <laughs> I'm in the seat of the mine cow. This, uh, now this ship should, uh, if, if it is, um, capsized, it should t turn itself right side up. And I can look around everywhere. Alright, and, uh, and it should, it should be, also, it should be submersible. You guys are in here watching because it shows only two. Let me refresh. So I know Mary and Seth were the last ones to say anything. That must be you two that I see there. Let's start making it work. I got everything I need. Let's start wiring it up. Actually, before I do that, let me um, let me get rid of this big generator and then see what it does when I spawn it. Get over there. I want to see it. Yeah, that's what I thought. It wants to... It wants to tip over. 
It wants to tip forward, actually. I did kind of build um, the the front of the ship, you know, going that way. Let me let me get back over here. I do also kind of need, uh, let's see, pipe, pipe. Let me get this guy in here. I want to bring this way up. So when I submerge, the air intake will still be above water. Oh, I never put a battery. What the hell? Yeah, I never put I, mean, I never put a battery down here. Um, let's see. I can place a big battery too. Bat. Put a medium sized battery down here. Let me put this generator. <laughs> right. And then I'll place the battery. Where can the battery go? Will it fit on one block or does it need two blocks? We'll get, uh, we'll put the smaller battery. Because I know that can go on one block. We'll put one over here. And one on the other side. I just mirrored it. There we go. Oh, if that's the case, then I can just use the bigger battery. If I'm going to put it like that. Use this one. Put this here. Put this battery right. Well, let's rotate it. Won't go there. It'll go here. Then let's see if it sinks. <laughs> Cal. Now, all right, let's um, hook up everything. Where are my batteries? Where are my batteries here? Did I load instead of saving? Alright, put that there. And then save. Okay, there we go. Alright, now let's do it. Electric. start putting in controls gonna need dials dial 
going to need a push button. Push button. Going to need a toggle. Toggle. Going to need a throttle. Throttle goes here. Um. All right. That's what I need. I uh, start putting um. I'll put a block. He here here to start my gauges out on okay where is my dial put the dial here all right and up here and we're gonna put dials we're gonna rotate Rotate. No. There. Dial. Dial. Dang it, get on there. One, two, one, two, three, four, five dials. I'm gonna put buttons. Put a block. Put a block here. And then I can start putting buttons. Put a push button. Dang it. Push button. Why can't I put... Oh, I can't put... I, couldn't, I can't put a button directly in front of a dial. That's what's going on. should be able to put it there. Let's try that. Alright, let's... No. Push button and a toggle. So that's a push button, that's a toggle. And I can't put a throttle like that either in front of a button. I don't want to put them up higher because then they're going to block my view. I don't want to put the buttons on top of the thing. Maybe I maybe I need to. Maybe that's just what I need to do. Alright, you know what? Let me, let me turn off the mirror. And, uh... Let's do this. Let's erase, erase. And put here. Rotate. Rotate, 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 rotate. There. Let me get a closer look at that. See if it's going the way I want it to. Nope. Dang it.
There. That's how it needs to go. And then over here, I can still have another uh, a push button and a toggle. Uh, push button here. Get in there. Rotate out. Dang it. Push button. Push button, toggle. I can put another push button here. Push button. Okay. You know what? Since since all this this all this glass is pointless on the bottom here, um, I could actually let me let me get rid of it and move these things into there. That would have solved that would have solved some of my problems. Just uh, my dials. What the hell, man? Dial. 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 Get in there. In there. I can move them all in where I can see them better. All right, get rid of that one. Okay, so I still got the, let me turn the mirror on. All right, a push button. Push button, push button. All right, and now I can, uh, Turn off the mirroring and go. No, wait, no, no, turn it on. No, 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 off. And then go over here to toggles. Toggle, toggle. And then over here, the throttle. There we go. Got all the controls in there now. Let's hook up the electricity. Okay. Let's start doing the logic. Okay. So we'll put the throttle and the starter here. And so we'll have the RPM. And the, you know what? We don't need a, a throttle position sensor. I can see the freaking throttle. 
This can be the um, This can be the fuel There, fuel And then over here the um, battery and the alternator and we'll put speed speedometer in the middle The battery between zero and one, this going up to five would be good. Oh, engine temp. Actually, you know what? We'll just have the battery and the engine temp. Because we'll know that the alternator is not working if the the battery is going down. So in the middle will be what I have here: battery, temp, RPM, fuel, speed. All right. So over here. These toggles will be submerge. Submerge. And this one will be surface. So we've got the uh, starter. We got the throttle. Starter, throttle, submerge, surface. I'm not sure what else we're gonna need to do. So let's start hooking things up and see what we run out of. My rudders. The A and D keys. These are gonna go to my rudders. Rudder, rudder. All right, this is the starter. Did I name it the starter? I didn't name it, did I? Starter. Now it's named a starter. There's my engine starter. Here's the throttle. Uh, throttle. Now I'm gonna try something else also. The W and S key. I'm gonna try put it here. Can't do it, man. I wanna put it to this. External input. I want to I want to make it where I don't know how they made it where let me see let me see what the options are on this min value sensitivity display
Okay, I'm back. So, when my sister was in there asking about uh, some medicine I had when I was sick a few days ago, because her and my mother got the same thing I had. Now, I know there's a way to have a throttle but also, let's see here, controls, trigger, hotkey, one, mode, toggle, see I don't want the hotkeys doing it, trim, AI, none, I, I saw on one of these, basically, you could use the WS and it would move the the throttle so I thought that we could take this WS and uh, run it over here to the throttle somehow Using WS to control a throttle block. I'm looking it up. Uh, but while I'm doing that, I will. Uh... I'll do the rest of this stuff. Put a cabin light down. Can I put a block here? Let me see. No, no, there. Can I put one here? Stop that. No, I put one here. So I'm thinking I need to put, I need a cabin light because it may get dark under the water. I'll just put the one on the floor back behind me. Um, light. Two number logic, you need two number logic less than throttle level, digital display, what? Why are each number logic? Why are the, di it seems the numbers have a wind down period, which is weird. Set seat sensitivity to 100. Pilot seat axis, a workshop for Steamworks. Pilot seat axis to throttle lever input. Oh, look at that. A simple module allowing any ax. Oh, let me open that one and see what it is. A simple module allowing any axis of the pilot seat to be used to directly control a throttle lever. This is useful if you want to have a throttle lever in the cockpit or pilot uh, house of your vehicle for aesthetic. Oh, it's something I got to download. Is it? Or is it a video to watch? I don't even know. But I think you can, let me, um, let me do this. Open this and look at it. Mode, reset, sticky. Sensitivity, 
Oh, let me just do this. I heard that just switch that to sticky and then um, and then just run uh, run the throttle run this to engine throttle instead of the actual throttle and then uh, yeah can I run it to here also? Can't do that. The dots gotta go to a hole. Red goes to red, green goes to green. Alright. But, let's see here. What did I say this was? Fuel. There's the fuel tank, and that's gonna send information to the fuel gauge. Boop. And we want this to say zero to 800 or minus one to 800 that's good rpm is going to be up to 50 what's the one in the middle we need a speed sensor for that i'll get that one in a minute turn that off turn this on what is this one rpm Engine RPM, R RPS, revolutions per second. There. Which one was the temperature? Temp. Engine temperature. Battery. Temp. We'll run from one of the batteries. That. And then the other one also, let's see if we can run two to the same. Nope, we can't. But it, I think it's safe to assume if the one battery is at a certain charge that the other one's going to also be. And since they're just percentages. All right, so this is surface. Um, I don't know which way the pumps go. Let's see if there's an arrow on them. This side looks more like a nozzle, so let's say they're going that way, and this one goes that way. We'll see. We will see what happens. So this, since this one uh, is pumping water out, that's going to be... Um, that's going to be to surface all right so the one that says surface surface that's going to go to this one and then that's going to go to this one it's also going to go to the outside over here and to the inside over here. All right. So the upper one's going to that, to the outside, and the lower one's going to the inside, the inside. Okay, got the bilge pumps done. Got the rudder hooked up. Got the throttle hooked up. I don't have a speedometer hooked up. I don't have anything on those two toggles yet. Where is the center of balance now? It's back there. Okay. It's back there, it's in the middle of everything. 
this thing should work now if the exhaust part will work underwater and the electrical components will work submerged <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens no don't load Resume, back, save the Moncal. Save the Moncal. What do all these things say? What does this say? Oh, the the lights not hooked. Okay, so you know what? Let's uh. Oh, we don't have another toggle. Yeah, I don't have another toggle. I can turn, I can, I can turn one of these into a toggle. Actually, both of these need to be toggles because I need the cabin lights and the dashboard lights, um, and the exterior lights. So let's turn off. Okay, that's off. Um, turn this here. And erase those two buttons. And we'll put uh, toggle buttons. Toggle, toggle. Let's name them interior lights. And this one, X. Your lights. Okay. So this one is interior lights. It's going to go to all of these. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, actually, actually, I may want the dashboard lights and the cabin lights to be separate, so let's, how do we remove, uh, how, how do I remove a connection? the block and then re-put toggle I don't know how to remove connections so dang it we'll make this one a toggle Right, and so this one will be the dashboard lights. Um, here we go. So this is going to turn on all of the dashboard lights. Can I run just from here to here? Nope. There, that button turns on all the dashboard lights. Let's put a cabin light back here. That'll do. One light. And then top, uh, top, I didn't name that. Exterior. Interior lights. that goes to this light and now let's put some spotlights if we 
make the light come from ah here we go put the light on the top pontoon facing that way oh you know what let's turn on the mirror to make sure that those go in the same exact place in there put blocks that way I can put the light right out here and then one back here right up under here right there happy little light <laughs> I wonder, can we put lights at, at angles on the side of this thing? Oh, look at that. Oh, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. It won't go there. Alright, so there's a light under there, one out there, one there. Let's um let's hook them up. They gotta be hooked up to electricity, all the lights. Oh, I need to hook up those switches. Cause I replaced them. <laughs> Redundant. Um, did we not hook anything up here? Hook to anything down there? That doesn't look like we did. There we go. That was. That would have been interesting. Nothing in my dashboard works. All right. put anything going to that one let's just say oh I don't have a speedometer that's what that's telling me okay so exterior lights that's gonna turn on that that up and then I need a speedometer speed angular linear I'll put it up uh, well I'll put it right down tank right up front there and then then I'll hook it up to the speedo meter there we go and 
let me change the speedometer to uh, 50 knots. All right, looks good. Let's go see how it handles. <laughs> well, the uh, propeller is close to the center of balance, so it should be, it should work. Oh, I didn't, um, let me see. this thing there it is put that there pipe straight pipe Take will stay above for a while at least. <laughs> Save the Moncal. Oh, who just who came in? There's three people now. There's Seth and Mary. Who else is here? There's a third per person watching. Not sure who it is. Oh. I want to see this thing go. There's my Moncal. Skidoosh. Hope it didn't hit the bottom. Oh, why is it doing that? I can't have added that much weight. It was the batteries. Did the batteries... Did the batteries add that much weight? Back to the drawing board. Let me put the medium. Um, um, so the problem I'm having is it's tilting backwards too far. My center of balance is below the middle like I wanted all right I'm gonna try uh, I'm gonna try moving the batteries forward and down let's see let's see if if that helps um, they were the medium sized battery. Mount batteries on a gas tank. Let's see. Oh. Dang it. Turn. No. It's always the last one you try. Okay. Alright, let's hook them up. Electricity, hook them together, hook them here, hook them there too, just to be sure. Is the engine not hooked into the grid? Bilge pumps. Gotta go to the battery. There we go. Oh. Oh no, I need them lower. Oh dang it. <laughs> Let's try this again. That's as 
slow as I can get them, I think. Alright, let's try this again. Hook them up. Now that I got everything hooked in through the engine, I don't have to go hooking a bunch of other things up like I did just before. Alright, and the battery power goes there. Okay. All right. Let's see if that uh, if that evens it out. I believe that moved. I don't know if that moved the center of balance down any at all. I could put them on the bottom of the fuel tank. Let's see if I need them further forward or if uh yeah let's let's see if it pitches too far forward I can put them on the bottom of the tank that would help I think. Let's save them on cow and then Oh, I'm falling in the water. Okay, how... How is it too heavy now? So... Maybe I go with one of those batteries instead of two. Let's try one battery. above water again but it is tilting back slightly I want it to sit I don't want it to be tilting back like that um, It's looking pretty 
Uh, it is still tilting back a little bit. It's just a tiny bit though. Maybe that won't be too much. Let's try it. All right, Mon Cal. What the hell? When I got on it, it, it filled with water now. Uh, no, I want to drown in here. My weight. It was my weight. <laughs> it won't take my weight without sinking. As soon as I get on it, it goes doosh. <laughs> All right, so it's too heavy. It is too heavy. Or either that or I need to lay off the Twinkies. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. We gotta get rid of some weight. Oh, but I, 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 want, I want the center of balance lower. I don't want the center of balance to be any higher than that. Uh, I don't want it to end up being upset. I mean, the whole purpose of this was to was to make it uh, heavier on the bottom so it would right itself. Um, it would right itself if it. Uh, if it should uh, capsize. So I'm trying to think, how could I... Uh, how could I increase the buoyancy and lower the center of balance at the same time. Let me do this. Turn on the mirror imaging. It's on. Ah, oh, I don't want to destroy things. Yeah, gonna have to. because these pontoons need to be bigger. I'll make them pretty later. I need to extend them down some.
Oops. Get in there. Stupid block. Right in there. All right. Now I need to replace a couple blocks with, um, these guys. Can I do that one instead? No, erase that and that one. Yeah, I'm sure. Show enough can. Pipes. No, I need a uh, pump. That's what I need. Uh, I don't want them pulling straight down. Well, I'll, I'll do this first, and if, if I really have a problem with it, I'll change it. That's going to make water go out. This is going to make water go in. Hopefully, put fluid exchangers. Come up. Uh, electricity. Hook up to the engine. Most likely not going to move the engine. Alright, now this one was surface. Those taking water out are going to go surface. Alright, and this one is submerged. These are putting water in. There. I got the bilge pumps hooked back up. I got the pontoons, etc. 
extended. Um, save the mod cap. Center of balance is still low, and hopefully the buoyancy is greater with these extended pontoons. We'll see what happens. Spawn it. It's doing a thousand calculations a second. tilt back you can do it <laughs> all right let's move that battery again let's move the battery That looks even right there. Can't take away the Twinkies, no way. <laughs> All right, battery, you can't stay there. You gotta move again. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to move it far enough. Um, erase. Electrical to the engine and logic to the dial. Wait, cancel. Yes. And now spawn it again. It's tilting back. It's tilting forward. It's coming back. No! It's still pointing a little bit down. idea I have an idea <clears throat> generator generator X turning this big ass generator with that uh, that little tiny engine <laughs> that might be a problem I hadn't thought of, uh, of, of that <laughs> that might be a problem I haven't been able to start the dang thing yet so 
We deal with problems as they come. I'll just hook that right to the engine and that'll be in the grid. All right. Save the Mon Cal. And spawn it. Let's see what it does. I moved to the big gigantic generator. Just one block back from where it was. And... That looks good. That looks good. Gave it a whole attitude adjustment. <laughs> Let's try to get on here gently. See if it sinks because I'm standing on it. Uh oh. It's going off to one side a little bit. The door is not underwater though. Maybe I can get in there really quick before we sink it. Why is there water in the cabin? Whoa, what's going on? Is there a hole in here I don't know about? Get in the seat. Why is the cabin filling up with water? Is this glass not water? This... Something about the way I built this is not watertight. The water's getting in here somehow. I think it might be those blocks that I used. I thought it would look neat, but I don't think it's watertight. I have to use squares at the corners. I know I know those windows are watertight because uh, well, let's see if the damn thing works before I do anything else let's um all right there goes the motor Why is it tilting to one side though? I'm gonna have to make this where I can control the ballast. Oh, the pontoons are probably leaking also because I put those corner blocks also on the pontoons. Temp. Oh, I need to set the engine temp to uh, to uh, 100. Battery is at 100. So it looks like the smoke works underwater, but it's just coming up all around me. So maybe. Maybe I want to run a pipe up on it. Maybe that pipe is why it's leaning to the left. If I put an exhaust pipe on the other side, maybe it'll balance it out. Let's see how well it turns. Let's see what happens when I try to turn. But it is pretty slow. And I think the reason it's so slow is because of the, uh, of the big generator. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's um, return to the bench. I gotta make it not so pretty so it will hold water. It's not gonna be pretty anymore. It's not gonna be as pretty as it is. It's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be because I'm gonna love it. It's not gonna be as pretty as I originally intended.
What the f... Dude! That's what... I had a freaking hole in the front! <laughs> let me, let me, let me do this real quick. Undo. Let's undo all that crap. Undo, 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 undo. Alright. Now let's try patching the big gaping hole in the front of... <laughs> I can't believe I left a freaking hole here. That was when I uh, moved the dashboard forward and got rid of some of the glass. I didn't put... <sighs> I can't believe I did that. Let's see, let's see if it holds water now. Let's see if it holds water. Uh, save the Mon Cal. Spawn it. Can't believe I did that. Up we go and forward. I don't see any water in there. It's gonna bobble a little bit. It's bobbling. It's tilted back a little bit actually. No water inside. It is listing to port. Get in the sea. <laughs> RPMs are only at 4. 4.36 and it's going just under 2 knots and it's listing to port. Well, let's uh let's see if it will submerge. Those pontoons should be filling up with water. <clears throat> Does it seem to be going down? It is submerging very slowly. <laughs> Can I turn while I'm submerging? Like... <laughs> I'm going to need more, uh, I'm going to need more pumps. Battery's still at 100%. The engine temperature is getting uh, up to 50.
I don't know if those pontoons are completely filled with water or not, but it doesn't seem to be going down any more than it was. Got, uh, I've still got the submerged pumps on. Let me switch. Let me switch pumps and see if it, it res resurfaces um, any and how quickly it happens. Maybe, you know, what I may, maybe I should do is maybe I should uh, get rid of the, put put a regular size generator and I'll put a gearbox down there. I'll need to make the, it looks like I am surfacing. I'll need the the volume of the pontoons I think needs to be greater than the volume of the of the of the pod yeah I am riding higher in the water than I was but it didn't uh, it didn't do enough to uh, to make me submerge um, but so there's a couple things I can do well one we need to to fix that list by putting in an exhaust pipe on the right I think that should uh, that should solve that problem the pontoons need to be bigger that pontoons need to be even bigger than they are now. They need to be larger pontoons. This thing is not nearly fast enough, so I need to get rid of that gigantic generator and put in uh, a gearbox. stopped moving I've stopped moving good all right okay mon cow let's see if I can get out let's see no <laughs> gonna have to put uh, something to stand on here uh, so I can get out <laughs> all right uh, let me just uh, return to the workshop all right first thing where is that's the wait there's the exhaust I need to run an exhaust pipe up. Pipe. Yeah. Uh, one of these. And I need a XH, an exhaust.
Yo. Rotate it. There. And then back. Oh, look at this. It's making a mirror image. I don't need all that. Erase. go now we got the exhaust and the air intake right there and is the exhaust it's not <laughs> lined up I mean it doesn't really matter that much I guess but I want it to be neat so <laughs> when I try there should even uh, even out the list that might actually make it tilt back more too I don't know but let's um, generator put the little generator oh wait I still needed those pipes get rid of this put the little generator here um, actually, let me Pipe. 
pipe angle, pipe cross, enclosed, the cross, cross, pipe, uh, angle. No, I don't need to pipe cross. I need a pipe. I need a pipe T. Pipe T piece enclosed here. And erase this and erase this. The pipe T piece is going to go here. box and let me see here gear gear box and uh, clutch Box and clutch. And I think we decided it goes like this. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I want to put the clutch before the, uh, the gearbox. I think. Gearbox. Um. Clutch. Okay. Um. Pipe. We need T pipe. I mean, angle pipe. Pipe. Angle pipe. Angle pipe here. There, clutch, gearbox, and this is going to be my reverse gear, so, one to negative one. separate one for the alternator. Um, and I'll need to 
I have a toggle that I'm not using? Let's see if there's a toggle I'm not using. That's a push button. The lights, lights. All right, so I need to add, I need to add more controls. I need a toggle. Oh, where am I gonna put them though? I gotta start putting them up in above like an airplane so that glass has got to come out um I think that I think that's and then this there All right that's my clutch and my uh, my shifter up there the reverse <laughs> okay so let's hook them up to electricity logic which one is this the gear box on off and then the clutch pressure okay I got the gearbox hooked up the pontoons they needed to be bigger. Bigger pontoons. I think. Bigger pontoons. I might need more weight also. Bigger pontoons and more weight to make it go down. Well, well, we'll make the pontoons bigger first, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Alright. Turn on the mirror imaging. And start wrecking these pontoons. Because we need to make them larger. Pontoon largening commence. I never knocked the floor out of these pontoons, man. Dang. <laughs> All right. Let's knock this out. Let's knock this out. Knock that out. Let's knock out the knocks. Oh, I gotta knock off the whole end of this. Because I gotta extend it back.
and the front. They're not going to be hydrodynamic like they were. sort of boxy pontoons but they're gonna be but they're gonna be functional feng shui now oh, I don't want it to go that way I want it to go I want it to go okay we'll bring it back dang it bring it back no oh damn it I had it. Bring it back one, two, three, four blocks. want it to fill these things faster we're gonna need the fluid port and pump all right let's knock out some of these Put in fluid ports. And the back here. Okay, got bigger pontoons, got more fluid ports, electricity, 
wire them all up. up so we can get them all in where we can see them all okay back up a little bit more then that's going to those I'm hooking those up over there. Can barely tell what I'm looking at. Gotta be a crappy soldering job. <laughs> there we go. This pontoon should fill later, Mary. I understand not far from bed myself. Gotta lay down, not feeling good. All right, Mary, thanks for coming out. Confirm. All right, look at that. Let me spawn it big blocky pontoons now uh, oh no <laughs> I gotta do something about oh oh no no I gotta do something about the center of balance now it's floating really high though let's see uh, the center of balance is higher than than I would like. <laughs> Let's see what that does. Big gigantic battery. All right. I think I got it centered up. All right. Here to there. 
Okay. Save it. Let's see what it does. Come on, I want to get closer. That's... Is it too far back? It's too far back. I gotta move the battery forward. So let me do this. I'm gonna make a rail instead of what I did there. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put a rail underneath. No, stop that. That's not where I wanted it to go. Gotta be heavy enough to sink. Is my little tiny alternator gonna be enough to charge that battery? It doesn't matter, I'm never gonna run out. <laughs> that battery's never gonna run out of juice. Save the Mon Cow. And then spawn the vehicle. Let's see what it do. Is that battery too far back or too far forward? The battery is still too far back. But it's getting better. We're getting closer to equilibrium. We'll move it forward one block and see what it does. There. Electrical. Oops. Up oh. and telemetry. All right, we've moved the battery forward one block. What did I just do? Save the Monco and spawn it. Floating upright. Not quite. Let's move it one more block forward. Let me look at the center of balance. 
Oh, it's nice and low. Let me look at it this way. All right. Delete that. We're back here. That's one, two, three. I moved it forward one more block. Let's hook it up. Oh yeah, there was something. Uh, there was something I wanted to change on this dashboard. Also, that was just a hundred percent. Is that a temperature? The temperature, speed, RPM, fuel, temperature, max value 100. Battery, temperature, speed, RPM. I need to add one more dial. I, I need to add a throttle position dial. Because of the way I hooked up the um, throttle. What is this missing? Did I not hook the battery to it? I thought I did. Huh. I guess I forgot. I did hook up the battery though. Oh, may maybe I, uh, I missed it when I did it. Alright. Here's the dial. We'll put it. Ah, uh, we can't put it in the middle there. Throttle position. There's no place I can put it without uh, breaking some glass. Let's break some glass here. Um, we'll put it right up here in the middle. three, one by one, one by two.
temperature, RPS, throttle. Nope. WNS. Ah, there we go. W and S, let's see. Sensitivity. Throttle. A and D. Helm. Spawn it again. I think I got the battery in the right place now. And I fixed a couple of other things that were bothering me a little bit. Is it still, it seems it's still leaning back a little. block I think one more block blocks what's that up there that says it doesn't have anything value to display throttle position Oscilling about the same each way. All right, let's get it on. I mean, get on it. Let me check, make sure I don't have any holes. Pretty sure I put glass in there. Alright, it looks pretty stable. I'm happy. Let's get up here. Gonna have to put a ladder on the side. And like I said, something here to stand on to get out. Get in the driver's seat. There we go. Um, engage the clutch. Um, give it some gas, 31%, hit the starter. All 
RPMs. Oh, it's uh, it's maxed out, huh? Oh, throttle lever. I had to engage the clutch. We're going backwards. We want to go forwards. Throttle position is started. Forward. Ooh. We're going faster than we did before. Throttle at 36. I'm gonna have to move the propeller down to the center of balance. All right, let's dive. Dive, dive, dive. With all those pumps, I should go down pretty quick. We're going down, going down now, going down. Almost entirely. The cabin's almost entirely underwater. Yeah, look at that. We're submerging. Oh, what happens? Let's see if it runs with that uh, air intake underwater. My, my RPMs went down. Let's stop submerging. Let's turn on the uh, exterior lights. We're sitting on the bottom. <laughs> All right, we need to uh, turn on the surface pumps a little bit. Are we running? Are we running? Let's uh, let's disengage the clutch. And the throttle's up. We need to start the engine. Ah! No! <laughs> well, the, uh, those are, uh, electric. Those pumps are electric. They should work with that gigantic battery. Let me see over here. The battery is still at 100%. My surface pumps. We should gain some buoyancy momentarily. Come on, buoyancy. We're just gonna, we're gonna have to put a, 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 an electric motor on, uh, on the submarine. <laughs> Why? Why am I not surfacing? I guess I had it running for a while after I, uh, after I sat on the bottom. <laughs> I 
I'm going to need to put some glass on the side of these so I can see what the hell is going on in them. Because as far as I know, there's no uh, sensor for that wire. Why is it not pumping the water out? I don't still have the other ones on, do I? <laughs> I'm stuck on the bottom. seem to be gaining any buoyancy. I'm thinking maybe there's got to be a way for air to get into those uh, into those things. Uh, let me, uh, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. No, I can't do that. I gotta do it through the map. Take to workbench. Yes. Yes, Seth King, it's a, it's a submarine. But it's a submarine that won't resurface, apparently. Alright, so this is what I gotta do. I gotta put uh, I gotta put glass on the side of here so I can see what the hell is going on. These are one by two. Um I'm gonna put a sight gauge on it. Uh gauge on it. Now I can hmm let me just make this whole side glass um get uh window three by three put here I had mirror on, so it's it's still on the other side too. Um, <clears throat> um, 
comprise all your components. do this we'll leave the clutch off we'll throttle up to their 33 percent is good start that up oh, we don't even need to have the engine running actually we'll just uh, hit the submerge and we'll watch what it's doing surface okay I'm resurfacing the engine is running though let me turn the engine off and then try to dive. All right, the engine is off. You know what I didn't do? No, it's working. It's working with the engine off. I'm submerging. is underwater.
I'm coming back up though. Visual surfacing? Or am I still coming up? I. Hmm. Am I getting more buoyant? Okay. Looks like maybe. Okay, I'm coming up. It looks like maybe the uh, resurfacing is just a lot slower than the diving. But the engine is completely off. It's not on and I am resurfacing. Maybe I just need twice the number of pumps to resurface. <clears throat> I just need to put more uh, I just need to put more surfacing pumps that's all oh wait huh it looked like those were working Maybe there's no more water to be pumped I see that one's going, and that one's going. I'm diving. Diving slowly. doesn't look like the like those pumps well there it goes yeah they're going put some electric motors on this thing I'll put them to either side I'll put them in the on that cross beam that's what I'll do I'll put two of them motor Small electric motor. Go here. We'll put it there. Hmm. 
Might have to put in another throttle. Another throttle for the electric motor. Or... Alright. Let me hook them up to power first. Alright. Electric motors to the battery. also to the engine. Let's see what they need here. You know what? I'm not using that throttle. Wait, what did I just put that to? Stupid. What, uh, that's the clutch. This is the clutch. This goes... to there. Alright. So that throttle down there is for my electric motors. Electric throttle. All right. So, to make this thing resurface faster, I'm going to need more. Um, all right. Fluid.
surfacing pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wonder if I shouldn't turn one of those rudders sideways and put another control for that to control, you know, up and down trim. Or if I shouldn't put, put one here somewhere. Uh, anyway, oh, what is that? Oh yeah, I know what that is. Let me um, let me actually fix that. That was bothering me. I want this to be from zero to one. Okay. Save the Mon Cal. Spawn it. Sit in the driver's seat. All right. Throttle up to 20%. Start it up. And engage the clutch. Whoa. Take her out. Yeah, the, the motors are too high. I gotta fix that. I gotta move the motors down. Yeah, the motors need to be like there now. That's the center of balance. I don't need two rudders going this way, actually. Um, get rid of one of these
Um, propeller. Goes here. Dang it. Undo. Motor. Get rid of that one. Motor. Flip it around. There we go. And put the propeller. Actually, you know what? These blocks don't need to be so far back. They can actually be right here. Because this electric motor can go there. And then these guys can go here. Uh, no, they're going to hit each other, I think. Dang it. There. Did I not do the mirror image? Dang it. What is this? Huh. Pipe. Um, pipe angle enclosed. Oh, I already had that dirt. Ah, perfect. It just went right there where, where it should have. Oh, no, no, no. That's, uh, Pipe, street pipe, enclosed. There we go. And one more of these guys. Um, rudder. That other rudder. This way. There. Okay. Let's hook everything to electricity. Electric motor, rudders, uh, 
that's the generator, that's the transmission. All right. Do you know what I just realized? <laughs> Uh, I'll change it later. I didn't really need um, uh, a direct drive to a motor. I could have just had one electric, and I didn't need the gearbox or any of that. But but now I got the I got the balance. I got the weight right. You just have a generator and then an electric motor run it oh I've already got a direct drive motor all built all right so let's um what did I put here I put two electric motors I moved the uh I moved the propeller down to here yeah that's what I did I moved the propeller down to there oh no alright let's hook up the logic so the uh, W and S is still going to the engine. The clutch, I never I never unhooked the clutch. The ge is the generator. Okay, I never hooked a generator up to to uh, a dial. That I never I never moved that rudder. What is this? Thing? I don't have any throttle connected to the electric motors. That's gonna change right now. All right, I've got that other throttle hooked up to the electric motors. I just need to add another controller for that rider. The up and down rudder. And put it in next to that, or I could put it up here. Up and down rudder. Yeah, I'll put it up here. I'll have to redo this glass. Time to knock out another pane of glass. put it on the floor down here knock out that pane of glass put it on the floor yeah that's what I'll do
what do we call that? The trim. That's what I'm gonna call him. Oh, wait, where is it? It's here. I'll call it the trim. I don't know what trim is, but that sounds right. Alright. Maybe I should switch these. Maybe that should be the trim and this should be the electric throttle. <laughs> yeah, because that one's up and down and this one's... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I put one on each side, huh? Them <laughs> bitch. All right. So, uh, change that but uh, yeah I got it hooked up now all right so that's the electric throttle and that's the trim and uh, all right let's see how it handles now that I've got uh, I got the the motors down there at the with the uh, where the center of balance is alright confirm Get over there. Okay. Um, throttle the the clutch is out. All right. Throttle up to. 20. Start it. Let's see. Um, let's engage the electric. Uh, why isn't this doing anything? Huh. Okay, the electric, uh, the electric throttle is not, not doing anything. I don't know. Did I not hook it up to electricity? Let's, let's see. Thought I did. Let's return to the workshop. No, I just went across there with it. I didn't. 
hook it to anything else, anything useful. There we go. All right, let's try it again. Save. Save the chickens. Okay, let's just hit that electric throttle and watch it go. And then let's dive. Alright, we are almost submerged. Let's adjust the trim. Alright, we're just about submerged, so let me switch that off. We are almost under. Let me adjust the trim. That's making me go up. We are completely underwater. Did we go? Did we just go straight to the bottom again? All right, let's. Uh... What's the deal? They worked in the port. Why aren't they working now? All these up front here should be...
just sitting on the bottom. I'm gonna have to research submarines. My battery's at 98%. coming and I'm sitting on the bottom of the ocean How's it going guys? Welcome back to Stormworks. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a basic submarine in Stormworks. The first submarine uh, that you'll build if you don't know how to build them already. So um, it's not going to have any really complex stuff so all the beginners out there should uh, be able to build this uh, quite easily and this will give you the basic principles and knowledge so that you can go and build a really complex submarine um, whenever you want. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, now we're going to add, uh, let's get a seat in here, keyboard, uh, it will just gradually increase to one or to minus one in the opposite direction uh, which is fine for what we're doing here if you wanted to make it automated throttle you can uh, add a lever or a button or something uh, but yeah now now that I just think of it we can add another dial should start rising here we are Our depth should be variation yep Because it's basically a boat right now. Even with the ballast full, it's not really going to sink much. So I'm going to take a large chunk out of here. So no one is going to be able to get in. And you can use any kind of propulsion you want, but we'll just stick with the small propellers for now. Which is cool. So it'll be going too far, and you can always add a generator. Um, if you want a tutorial on how to add an engine to your submarine, 
uh, I'll be happy to do it. Say a hundred meters down, I would say would be the max before you start uh, dying because you can't get up because the pumps aren't powerful enough. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Can't get up because we're gonna the get pumps out, not out powerful enough. enough. Needle will be your uh, capacity, or is it the level? Can't remember. I was putting more but, pumps. Um, one of them is going to be right at the top, uh, saying how it's possible I just need a stronger pump. in here I'm not too far away from uh... oh no I am so I gotta I gotta do this to get back get in here Maybe it's just all of these pumps aren't what I need. Maybe I need a stronger pump, a bigger pump. So let's uh, let's see what we've got. Pump. Large fluid pump. Impeller pump. Impeller pump. Large fluid pump. Let's do this put this here let's get rid of these guys an elbow I don't 
pipe. <clears throat> that pipe here. One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, wait a minute. Those aren't lining up. I need a straight pipe and then and then a uh, and then a pipe and then an elbow okay so one two three four five six now the elbow one two three four five six no dang it why did it do that there we go uh, they're hooked up there I got stronger pumps that'll work at depth hopefully Hook them to electricity. Resurface. Surface. up now we got six stronger pumps max power they're all set to max power I don't know how much more power these are these put out than the uh, than the smaller fluid pumps but uh, we'll see what happens Ooh. Save it. And spawn it. Let's see. Uh, tsunami's coming still. Gotta get in my submarine before the tsunami comes.
here we go. Am I actually, am I starting to go back up? I'm starting to go back up. And I have surfaced. Wow, I surfaced pretty quickly. when I submerge I go straight to the bottom without passing go the bottom or am I I maybe I am on the bottom one two Let's see if that makes me go back up nope I'm on the bottom one two three going back up I'm just went all the way back up to the surface Still going up. Oh. 
I'm trying to find neutral buoyancy. Just under the surface now. My snorkels are still up. But with the way my uh my craft is pitched. Um, if I activate the throttle out surface because it's pitched upwards and the trim, I haven't fixed the trim where to bring it down. Let me, uh, let me turn it on slight, slightly ahead throttle. Yeah, I'm surfacing. So, but I am, I think, in neutral buoyancy. And if I, uh, if I'm at this buoyancy and I'm able to, uh, to pitch downward, I can dive without going all the way to the bottom. Let me, uh, let me let me get back to uh, yeah here here I go I'm uh, it's forcing me to the top ooh how fast am I going hey. <laughs> That's my trim I'm adjusting there, not the... Full speed ahead! Gonna make me dead. Oh, I just hit the bottom. Ooh, that's no good. Oh man, look at all the damage. I hit the bottom of the dock. <laughs> wow, look at that. Let's uh, return to the workbench. Now the trim, I need to, I need to do something about the trim. Max value, okay, start value, zero. Max value, right, negative one.
start value negative one, max value one, no, max value one, minimum value negative one. Is it moved to the middle now? S max value one, minimum value negative one, start value zero. There, that's what I need to do. So, I think if I get it to where I'm almost underwater, and then I dive with the trim instead of the ballast, I'll, I'll be able to stay under, at least while I'm moving. trim oh, that, that, that's pitching me up okay that's the wrong way this way Tsunami's coming. Dive, dive, dive. Bottom. 
soon as that battery comes off the bottom a little bit, the thing should pitch forward and start going up. Ah, there it goes. Nice. Even that trim out. Let's see. Oh, look, we're going back down. Um, on the ground okay Did the sound? Oh, there it is. There's the tsunami. Just the trim again. Whoa. Has it just passed? Looks like I'm gonna need more control surfaces for the trim.
Yeah, I'm gonna have to put the trim further back too. That way it'll control my pitch a little better. All right, I wonder if there's a way to pitch the motors. Velocity pivot. Small connector. Sliding hatch. Robotic door hinge. Robotic hinge. What does this robotic hinge do? Robotic hinge. Smaller robotic hinge. Compact robotic pivot. <gasps> yes, compact robotic pivot. Blocks. Which way does it go? Back up. Okay. It goes like this. All right. to the propeller. I delete the propeller. Bring back my propeller. Get rid of that and that. Am I deleting important things over here? I can go up and over with that. I can go up and over it. That that pipe that didn't go anywhere or do anything. Let me uh, let me delete it. No, delete that. Delete that. Compact robotic hinge. There. 
All right, that's going to, yeah. Let me see the other side, what this looks like. All right, that looks good. Now let me fix the exhaust pipe. All right, I need a straight pipe. Pipe. got plenty of room to move all right here here electricity I have not um, I didn't remove electricity from the motors but I need to add it to the hinges And there it's that one right there. This one here. Yeah. That's going to the rotation target. And over there also rotation target what is this throttle yes now the, the tr this one I don't need that anymore oh that pipe doesn't go anywhere it doesn't do anything all right uh, fix the trim let me uh, save it and let me spawn this thing again let's get over there man they moved maybe they're just moving one degree all right let's 
let's change that. Thirty degrees, minus thirty degrees. Spawn it. Let's see. Uh, Control for them. B. Let's see. Maybe I need to use push buttons. Do you need push buttons? Standard value setting. The standard value setting the orientation within the range of motion. What? All right, let me. Uh, no, this one. Gear ratio, max power, speed. this way. And that's the part that moves. So it should be moving those things. Let's um I'll try putting some push buttons instead of that throttle. Let's see if that does it. Push. Push button.
trying to make a small patrol vessel with a cannon. I want to be able to rotate. I put a robotic pivot underneath it. But I but I don't know how those work. Help. I think I, I think I know what I need to do. All right. But then again, maybe I, know, maybe I don't. <laughs> that should rotate. <clears throat> that should rotate like this. Those things should be moving. And they're not. Here says seat throttle lever or seat or throttle lever connect green dot up lever to green circle and pivot it will turn okay dang it Get rid of those. The hell, man! And put another throttle lever back in place. Maybe because I messed with the uh, the values. Start value zero, max value 100, minimum value negative 100. Let's try that. Oh, this says one. One and negative one are okay. Point five. Point five. That that's forty five degrees. Let's see if let's see if that works. sensitivity down a little bit all right and then uh, electricity and in here robotic compact robotic pivot rotation target all right let's try it now
They're not moving, dude. aren't turning. Do I have them on there backwards? No. Welcome back. So, have you ever been velocity pivots with a hole in the middle? And they're also sealed. Which is awesome if you don't have boats. I'm also going to grab a regular large velocity pivot here, and that way we can mount whatever we're trying to aim on right there. And for my seat, I'm just going to choose the regular. I can all just be going into one. And I'm going to wire them both up to the composite signal or AD. So what we can do now is run those through. They're just basically the pivots, super accurate and precise. So let's get started. They're whatever we're trying to aim on right there. Let's see. Um, Pivot. <clears throat> Robotic pivot fluid. Robotic pivot power. Velocity pivot. What's this? Piv pivot. Compact velocity pivot. Velocity pivot. This thing work, maybe. Oh, my God, that's huge. Is there room for it, even? No. I go up one block. There's a pipe running here. Velocity pivot. Let's try this. Uh, 
Alright. Let's see what this one does. Rotational speed. Rotational speed. Okay. Max value point five, start value zero, no point, point five, there we go. Workshop. Let's try with the velocity pivot. They are rotating. Why aren't my motors attached to them rotating? Let's do, let's do this. Um, motor. Okay. 
Oh, okay. And now you. All right. All right, but um, but I don't want the velocity pivot. I want the robotic pivot. Robot. Okay. Pivot. Compact robotic pivot. Put it here. All right. There's the motor. All right. Let me delete, delete. What's the f robotic pivot goes here An electric motor goes here small propeller goes here okay the electric Motor, motor. And this five and point five and zero to start. That'll go forty five degrees, it should. that way one of them is gonna go like this while the other one goes like that I have to fix that maybe there's a way gear ratio So maybe, uh, robotic pivot. There we go. Oh, and it's connected there. All right, so. Yeah, that did it. Now they're both the same. Well, they're mirror image. I hit the, the U button. That, that inverted the thing. All right. 
let me uh, connect it to electricity. And to the trim. Uh, both rotation targets targeted. The motors are hooked up to the throttle and uh, save and spawn. Why is my motor there <laughs> like that? Let's see. Look, it has pivoted. Alright, it's working. I don't know how my other motor ended up like that though. when it spawned that it ended up not where it was supposed to be let me uh, delete that and this I can put them back again Oh, did I only do the one side? Yeah, I only did the one side. Alright, so now I just need to hook it up to the throttle. And there we go. So let's save. Then spawn the vehicle. Lord Wolfguard, I miss the Defiance days. So do I. I would love to be playing Defiance right now. What the hell? I put a throttle over there. 
Son of a bitch. Oh, I gotta hook up all those fucking things again. <laughs> Look at them, they're all, they're all disconnected, every single one of them. Oh. God dang it. I need um, toggle. Toggle. Surf. That's not really trim, that's sort of forcing me down, not pinching me forward. <laughs>
coming up. Might trim them down a little bit. They'll thrust us under. <laughs> that's not that's not working how I intended. <laughs> Taking us down to the bottom again. Yeah, well, I hit the bottom. And we're back up at the top. Just come back up and run on the surface. And see how well this thing uh, goes as I originally intended. Just in the pitch of the motors to see if it uh, rides a little smoother. And then I can, uh, Open it up now. Whoa! I flipped over, but it, yeah, it straightened out. Yeah, 
go. Too much horsepower. I pitch those. Uh, does keep turning itself upright which is what I was going for I wanted uh, I wanted to build a boat that, that wouldn't capsize and I did <laughs> Let's see if uh, I empty the ballast how it handles. Guaranteed to get a sick. <laughs> Batteries are at eighty nine percent now. So let me turn that off. Oh, this is this is good. It's running pretty smooth at this. Let's see what it does at full throttle. Oh, it's starting to bobble again. writes itself. motors and run off the um, just run off the gas see what that does you might charge my battery back up I can turn off the lights too
Oh, how do I end up on the back side of the island? Or am I even... Is this even the same island? Oh yeah, this is it. Bobble around 11 knots, it looks like. Let's bump it up a little bit. Twelve, thirteen knots. It starts coming out of the water. Yeah. No, but we're okay. Why does this not want to stay to the right? Is there another tsunami coming? Alright, we gotta go to the left. It looks... <laughs> We're not going to make it going that way. Made it back. Is the electric motor is still on? Pretty sure I got them all the way off, yeah. Throttle position is at negative. Well, I'd say uh, the man cow was uh, was a success. I I built a I built a ship that won't capsize, and now you can look and and see how how it was built. And I can incorporate that engineering into uh, an actual ship or submarine. <laughs> but uh, but I basically I put the, the that big battery on a rail. Well, I built a rail for it where I could move it forward or backwards. And uh, 
have two big uh, ballasts on either side and uh, the center of balance is way way down because of the battery that I used I tried doing that with the generator with the big giant generator before but my motor wouldn't turn the generator I mean it wouldn't turn the generator and the propeller so it was having some difficulty uh, so I used a big battery instead of a big uh, generator and uh, that seemed to work pretty well especially since I ended up uh, turning it into a submarine I need the extra electrical power and I can surface and use the the, um, the motor uh, to oh, to um, charge the battery back up and I can run my uh, bilge pumps to fill the ballasts and empty the ballasts if I want to go dive or surface learned a lot of stuff had a lot of fun learned about the uh, pivots now now I know how to use pivots and I can pivot motors I can make a motor pivot uh, I'm tired that's all folks y'all come back now you hear Thanks everybody for coming out to watch the show. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to be on tomorrow night. See you guys then. Till then, happy hunting and yee-haw.